As of this afternoon, Bear County has the same number of monkeypox cases it had yesterday, 13 so far. Until there are more doses of the monkeypox vaccine available, Metro Health says it's only offering that vaccine to those cases it's investigating. Jesse DeGuriato says in the meantime, Texas Biomed is ramping up its research on monkeypox like it did with COVID-19. We are in a mode of reacting to what is a growing outbreak. President and CEO Larry Schlesinger says in doing so, Texas Biomed is growing the monkeypox virus in its high containment laboratories. After making sure it's the authentic virus, its research will begin, including possibly its primates that could best replicate what monkeypox does in humans like they did with COVID-19. Knowing that, he says, could help in developing treatments and new vaccines, besides the two available now, which he says can be painful and leave sores. They're not necessarily pleasant vaccines, and it would be great if we had more options. But that'll take time, he says, and for now, existing vaccines will have to do. We still have an activation curve to get through, and that's leading us behind a little bit so that our vaccines are lagging and they need to gear up manufacturing. So until San Antonio and Bear County get more doses of the monkeypox vaccine, Metro Health says its priority are those that its public health investigators have encountered who've had direct contact with the virus or who've been infected. But its spokeswoman says Metro Health will be posting updates on the vaccine's availability on its website like it does the number of cases in Bear County, which now stands at 13. Jesse De Goyado, KSAT 12 News. In response to the outbreak here, Metro Health and Living Positive San Antonio, that's a group for those living with HIV, will hold a monkeypox forum next Thursday, August 4th. Experts will be there offering information, answering questions about the virus. They're going to be at the Woodlawn Point on Donaldson. That's the building they're going to be in. And the Q&A will be streamed live on Facebook by Living Positive San Antonio.